everybody. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramp. And I'm also your host, Noelle McAvoy. That was Asaf Adonai on piano. Yeah. Asaf, what song was that? That's the theme song to an old television show called Hill Street Blues. Oh, That's nice. a short version. <laughs> it's nice and romantic. Yeah, we have a great show for you guys today. We have um, Samir Batar and Clem Work, and they're ta here to talk about um, Islam Week. Yeah, and we also have Nick Roberts, and he's going to tell us all about the flagship program and some events going on. Yep. And, yeah. But first, uh, let's talk a little bit about weather. Apparently, it's supposed to touch 80 degrees yeah. outside today. So, are you excited for the warm weather? I'm so excited. I'm wearing shorts, you guys. This is the first time. This is the second time I've worn shorts. Is that like a, a one piece it's or a little is it one like, piece? A, oh, it's a one piece. Yes. No, Isn't it, it great? no, it's, no, it's, it's a two piece. It's, it's, it's a, a shirt two piece, and one piece. Piece thing. It's a two piece, and they both look the same. So it's a one piece. Oh. Is it like? It looks like it could be waterproof. <laughs> It's waterproof. That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. You jump in the river. Yeah. No. I'm not. No. Kidding. It's clockwork. It's kind of disgusting. <laughs> it's, it's so gross. Yeah. This is like a two-piece, one-piece. Yep. Cool. So of course. <laughs> Fashion with Noel. Segway. Here is a little look at our weather. It is uh, currently 39 degrees out. So it started off fairly cold, but of course it wasn't too cold this morning. While I was walking outside, it's like, oh, this isn't too bad. Um, yeah. The high they say it's gonna be 79. Maybe maybe even see um, 80s throughout the week, but of course by Friday it is most likely ha going to happen that it's going to be 80. And of course Saturday it's looking like there is a 60% chance of rain. Oh. Maybe we may have that Friday night because a lot of our weather just seems to kind of push right through. It does, yes. But uh, a rainy Saturday would not be bad. Yep. And you can yeah. find out that information by just going to your uh, nationalweatherservice.gov. Um, yep. yep. And of course, if you want to find more information about us and other interviews and other video content that we produced here through Missoula Community Access Television, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. You can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. And we'll be live tweeting the, um, hopefully, the Supreme Court um, hearing for the Mountain Water thing this Friday as well. Great. You can check Missoula Community Access Television out on Facebook. And to find out for more information, go to MCAT.org. Yep. And I just do want to talk a little bit about what MCAT's going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to be helping um, Ron set up like a live stream for this afternoon. He's going to do a live stream from the law school for some lecture that's coming up um, today. So that's going to be an interesting um, thing. Yeah. Because he, he's, I don't know if he's going to set multiple cameras. <laughs> uh, so I'm supposed to meet him here at 2 uh -huh. and then just try to figure it out from there. Cool. I'm pretty, I'm pretty like savvy when it comes to setting up a little, little like tri cast That's really sca savvy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You're about to say scabby. I was about it's to like say scabby. scabby. Scott's pretty scabby today. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, when it comes to setting up live stuff, you're a pretty good tech guy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, uh, and all it just the takes stream. practice. And like uh, when, I, when I first started, I was like, what am I doing? Lots and then, as soon as I, I had the epiphany and I said, remember, it's just a series of in and outputs. Yeah. And you can pretty much get in. Yeah, nice. Yeah. In but nice. Um, we'd be do well, hopefully, um, by this Friday, um, we're going to be um, live streaming the um, the hearing, the Supreme um, Montana Supreme Court um, hearing about the mountain water. Yep. Because uh, Carlisle Group was just like, oh, I'm going to go sell it to um, um, Liberty, even though like um, Karen Towns was like, I don't. Uh, you know, like you're not supposed to do this, and like yeah. I don't care, I'll do it anyways. And then we heard that they, um, from they, from they quoted that they were just like, "Hey, we already sold it. We're done. We're out of here." Too it, bad. We're done. <laughs> Are they done though? I have no idea. I don't know this if like the, the so court's confusing. gonna get like a subpoena or something or serve them or yeah, because it, 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 it's it's very uh, very interesting waters. Yes, for it is. sure. No pun intended. No. Or actually, pun intended. <laughs> But we have got uh, Nick Roberts on our yes. show, and we've got an art clip for you guys. So yep, this and these uh, these I think these art clips are really cool because oh. uh, it's live video, and oh. it's um, from our very own Rick Phillips, who produces these um, through our grants um, mm -hmm. through the city. Uh, it's like a nice little art grant. Yeah. And without further ado, this is um, from the Gallery of the Visual Arts at the Social Science Building at the University of Montana. And when we come back, we'll have Nick Roberts talking about the flagship regatta.
back here with Nick Roberts, and he is um, here to talk about the flagship regatta. Could you uh, please enlighten, enlighten us a little bit more about this? <laughs> I will. Um, so when we think about fundraising, we often think about going somewhere, doing something. It's an event you show up for, something happens. It's what flagship did for a number of years with kind of a traditional dinner auction. Last year, we flipped the script. We uh, decided to try something completely different and do a virtual fundraiser that we call the flagship regatta. And so we're in year two, trying it again. It was successful enough to, to give it another go. So what it means is starting today, um, you can go to flagshipprogram.org and you're gonna see eight captains and eight teams that represent our eight current flagship schools. Three elementary schools, two middle schools, three high schools. And each of these schools are racing in a virtual regatta whereby their team and their ship advances in the race based on online giving. Cool. So each team has their own giving page and you just click on the, the captain who is essentially the messaging partner or the communicator for that team uh, and then you can make a donation to that team and their, their ship advances in the race. So, um, so part of that partnership is, is incredible instead of a, a traditional give us money to be a sponsor of an event, we're asking for communication partners, messaging partners. So all these captains like Missoula Fresh Market, UC Market, um, Rock and Rudy's, uh, Rick Sanders and Mountain FM, uh, Jill Valley and K-Pax, Western Montana Mental Health Center, Friends of Flagship Advisory Board, who have I missed, Cafe Dolce, they all are saying, we're gonna press out social media, social media for 10 days and emails and sing loud and proud about flagship in their school and to try to drive people to donate. Yeah, and awesome. this all starts today. Today. What time did it start? Right now? In Midnight? theory, in an hour, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually happening right now. You can go make donations right now. It's right actually now. like nine o'clock is, is when we officially launch, but, um, but true story is you can make a gift anytime from this minute on. Yay. I said so. When's the end date? <laughs> Next Friday the 29th. Okay. So we'll be, and here's the really cool thing. So we learned last year we wanted to incentivize people more. So every day, uh, if you give $25 or more, you're entered into a daily drawing Ooh. for awesome stuff, including um, you know gift cards to Scotty's Table, uh, a year's worth of ice cream. What? what? Yeah. Kind of Big Dipper oh, every month for a year. That sounds great <laughs> and a terrible idea. And terrible. <laughs> great. Better. You can, you can give it away. You yeah. know, right? And Sell you know, fishing food. trips. I mean, uh, health packages, good food store, climb, climbing gym, all that kind of stuff. Missoula stuff. Missoula businesses have all chipped in. So every day we're doing a drawing, and you'll be seeing seeing information about that on our Facebook and all that kind of jazz. Cool. That's great. So uh, for, this is your second year. You guys are doing this regatta. That's right. And uh, like um, compared to last year, um, what is the different what a different approach are you taking this year from last year? Well, we learned a lot. In number one, you know, kind of creating the buzz a little more within the schools was something that we were very intentional about this year. Uh, that we we didn't get dialed in as well last year, such that you know we we've spent a couple of months kind of building champions in our eight schools, you know, teachers and principals and and parents who are helping us spread the word and and really tell the stories of flagship and how um, you know we're reaching kids in still unique ways. After 20 years, mm -hmm. we're finishing our 20th program year. MCAT being one of our our key partners. I mean, you you two can vouch for this. We we do uh, we reach out to community resources and people give so generously to say you know, well, how can we reach kids? You know, what's what's dynamic and fresh right now? And uh, because of partners like you and the dozens of others, we can we can bring programming to kids, arts and sports and academics and community service at the scale of over 400 activities a year. That's awesome. Reaching over 2,100 different kids every single year. That's All right. awesome. Well, just one more time, where can people find uh, more information and where can they donate? They should go to flagshipprogram.org and you're gonna see uh, a little jump off page and then you'll see all these captain faces and logos where you can click any of them. They're correlated to a specific school. Give, you'll be entered in for daily drawings and you'll help kids get free, mm -hmm. free after school programming. The only one in town that does it at our scale. Well, That's thanks awesome. for joining us. Thanks, Nick. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we'll be right back after this.
I'm Mark Moss from Tell Us Something. For those of you who don't know, Tell Us Something is a storytelling organization here in Missoula, Montana. And we podcast all of the stories that are told on the stage. Storytellers have 10 minutes to tell a true personal story from memory based on a theme. This is our second year at Give Local Missoula participating. This year we'll be at Give Local Missoula County. We're very grateful to be participating in this 24-hour online giving event. Tell Us Something needs your support to continue uh, the work that we do, the important work of helping people get their stories heard. We really appreciate your support in helping to keep the project going. Thanks for giving on Give Local Missoula County, May 3rd. Hey everybody, we're back here with uh, Samir Bratar and Clem Work, and they're here to talk about um, Islam Week. Yeah. So uh, please uh, tell us about all the amazing events that are happening this week. And so this is the first Islam Week, yes. right? Yes, okay. yes. Thank you so much for having us this morning. I would like to greet you and everybody else by saying Assalamu Alaikum, Ayyuhu Sayyidat wa Sada, Shalom, Haverim bi Havirot. Peace be upon you, ladies and gentlemen. What you heard is the Muslim <laughs> greeting, which is a reflection of the actions of the religion. We are very happy to be here with you this morning. We would like to invite our community and everybody at large to the first Celebrate Islam Week in uh, Missoula. We have a full week uh, celebrating Islam in our community. We are a very diverse group from uh, Missoula, uh, from many different walks of life, and we have come together and formed a group called Salam. The Arabic word means peace, and the acronym stands for Stand Alongside America's Muslims. <coughs> and we have a, a, a very well uh, put together program to present to our community at large. And uh, we have uh, a Facebook page, and here is the URL for the Facebook page. If you can go to our Facebook page, it's pretty simple. It's just www.facebook.com uh, Salam Missoula, all in one word. And you will be able to see all our activities, our programs. And uh, we have many things. Uh, this, is a, um, this is a uh, slogan, a poster, that people can uh, download and print out and put in their windows. Nice. And this is another one in a different format. Awesome. And so just uh, positive uh, messages of welcome for Muslims. And uh, so those are two of the, actually we have three different uh, window signs that people can put up. Great. And so is there, what kind of events are happening um, uh, today or and tonight? Okay, nothing when until does it Monday. Okay, so it starts okay, Monday. Monday, right, so Monday the 25th. Yes, everything starts on Monday. On Monday we will have <coughs> a dinner and a discussion, and this will take place at 5 p.m. at the St. Paul Lutheran Church here in Missoula, and uh, that's on the 25th. Everybody is invited. You can go to our Facebook page. We do have a, an email address that you can send your reservations to join us for dinner. The dinner will be Indian food. It's very yummy, mm -hmm. yes. And then on uh, <laughs> Wednesday, uh, we will have a documentary showing at Hellgate High School Theater. And it's we actually a comic film. It's called The Muslims Are Coming. And it's just an uh, approach, a comic approach to uh, problems of uh, Islamophobia. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Thursday, we will have a lecture at the Underground Jury Hall at uh, University of Montana. Uh, I will deliver the keynote, and then we'll have a panel and a discussion with the attendants. Right, we and we want people to come with questions to, to ask. Yeah. Yeah. This is the opportunity, you yeah. know, you yeah. get all your questions out, all your fears and phobias, and yeah. Exactly. The best place. Yes, our purpose, we are a very diverse group, and we are a large group. We come from many different faiths, and we have in the group uh, retired faculty, current faculty, faith leaders, community leaders, staff from the university, community members, students, and uh, we would like to provide 
all the information we can on Islam and to help our fellow citizens be well informed so they can contribute to our democratic pluralistic system and bring forward their concerns and formulate their opinions based on facts and reality yeah. and this is our purpose we are all people of faith and we wish to serve our community and make them informed so we look good as montanans we love montana and we want to be uh, looked at as very well informed and very well uh, contributing to our democratic system. Uh, the week will end Saturday. Uh, Saturday we have a peace dance. Great. At the Har Shalom Synagogue. Great. And that's just off of Russell across from the Y. That's right. Okay. Yes. Um, so uh, tell us, um, how can people find out more information? And if um, you guys are looking for volunteers, where can people get in touch with you guys? Well, uh, people can go to our Facebook page. Just uh, If you're on Facebook, it's just Salam Missoula and uh, you can find out more information about the program there and also how to how to contact us awesome and so what time does the peace dance start they all all the events start at seven o'clock except for the dinner on monday which starts at five and that starts at five awesome yes. great is there anything else you guys want to tell us before we let you go we would like to thank you and we would like to provide thanks in advance to all the people who will come and join us in this uh, celebratory week for f Islam and our community at large. It's a, a time for a community conversation about uh, the uh, positive nature of, of Islam and we'd like to invite people to come and, uh, and talk about that. Yeah, I agree. Thank you very much, you guys. Okay. This is uh, Samir and Clem and they're here talking about Islam Week starting next Monday. Thanks mm -hmm. guys. And we'll be right back with um, Noel talk about some of the community events that are happening here in Missoula. We're Soft Landing Missoula. We are a dedicated group of volunteers who have come together to bring a refugee resettlement office to Missoula, Montana, and then help support that office, as well as our community and the refugees that come. And we're really grateful to be a part of Give Local Missoula for the first time. Hello, I'm Lulu Delphine. And I'm Lizzie Judah of Turning the Wheel Missoula. Turning the Wheel Missoula creates vibrant, healthy communities using movement as the catalyst for change. Our organization fosters the social, emotional, and physical health of youth, their mentors, and their communities. Our curriculum developed over 25 years of working with youth is steeped in body-based practices, positive psychology, dance and theater improvisation, and performance. We serve with experiential reference points of wellness, leadership, and self-expression. Vibrant individual health lays the foundation for communities that are collaborative, inclusive, and creative. Safe havens for learning and growing and catalysts for a bright future. Proceeds raised through Give Local will fund Turning the Wheel Missoula's local programs with ages 8 through 18 and their mentors and teachers. Any amount you can contribute would be most appreciated. Thank you so much. Hi, Missoula. How's it going? And welcome to Wake Up Missoula. Okay, so I've got some events happening for you guys for today. And there, you know, the weather gets nicer. People want to do more things and want to plan more activities. So there's lots happening in your community. So starting first at 9.30 a.m. over at Miss Mode Gymnastics is their family fun time. Open gym for ages walking to 12 years. Uh, and they set up, you know, they've got obstacle courses, trampolines, foam pits, all the cool fun stuff you can want to do. Fly through the air. Um, and then we have preschool play group that's at 11 a.m. at Roots Acro Sports Center, and that's for ages walking to five years. And this one, they set up different activities and stations around the gym, and then parents and children get to rotate and choose what they want to do. Over at Spectrum Discovery area, the Discovery Bench is Hovercrafts, and the Brain Lab is Taste Tests. And then for their science sprouts, they're still celebrating Eric Carl month and they're reading from the book, Tiny Seed. So they're going to be learning about tiny seeds. And this is for ages two to five, little crowd. 
Uh, Taekwondo is at Children's Museum of Missoula at 11. And then over at the public library and the makerspace, they've got acrylic painting class. Unfortunately, this is not with Rob P. It'll be with Aww, someone else. Boo. You'll just have to find out. Yeah. Maybe Rob P. changed his name again. I know. Rob P. probably did change his name. He's gone. <laughs> like the wind. Okay. Uh, at Missoula Butterfly House, which is the Insectarium, which is above Spectrum Discovery Area on Front Street, across the street from the library. They've got um, Little Bugs. That's at noon. And this is, uh, it's, so it's early childhood education. So from like ages two to five as well. The Lifelong Learning Center is teaching in design the basics. It starts at one. Um, you have to have com basic computer fundamentals as a prerequisite, you know, just so you know how to turn the thing on. Over at the Public Library, we've got Middle School Writers at 3.30, writing group for grades 6 through 9. And uh, they eat some chocolate, get and give good feedback and play with words. Great. Over at the Children's Museum of Missoula at 3.30, uh, they've got Creepy Crawlies with Pet Nebula. So Pet Nebula is going to bring in some critters and you can pet them and be all scared. Sounds like a rave. Yeah, it does sound like a rave. That's weird. Uh, at the University of Montana in UC Center, uh, room 333, they have a renter's rights panel. So uh, if you have play, if you have questions and um, you know don't know where to get them answered, you can go over there, and then, so you won't get taken advantage of by your landlord. Yeah. Over at the Missoula Art Museum at four, they've got a teen artist workshop. It's Mr. Potato Head Self Portraits. Um, so it's four to six, it's free. They're going to be using a 3D portrait. They're gonna be making a 3D portrait using clay and you're gonna basically be doing like a, you're gonna be given a featureless clay head shape to start and then you'll create specific features that resemble your own. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. So workshop is limited to 15. Um, if you want to reserve a spot, you can call 721-0447. Um, and this will be, yeah, it looks like it will be at the Clay Studio of Missoula. Yeah, so this will be at the Clay Studio of Missoula, not the Missoula Art Museum, but it's uh, kind of put on by the Missoula Art Museum as well as the Clay Studio. Over at Imagination Brewing Company, um, they we've got some music. The Shamrockers are opening for Timothy Egan. So t the Shamrockers play Irish folk music, and then Timothy Egan is a Pulitzer Prize and National Book Award winner. He's reading from his latest book, The Immortal Irishman, about Thomas Francer, Ma Francis Marr. And so he will be reading from his book at 6.30, and the Shamrockers play before at 5.00. Over at the Starving Artist Cafe and Gallery, uh, they've got an open mic that starts at 6. And then also at Imagination Brewing Company at 6, they've got their public jam. So at 6 p.m., if, you if you're got a musician, you can go on down there with your instrument and jam out. And i got to read this to you guys because this is really funny. You can come along, have a brew, and see what kind of magic Missoula's local musicians can concoct. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but all kidding aside, that sounds awesome. Uh, Joan Zen is going to be at the Great Bird Brewing Company at 6 p.m. And if you guys have never heard her before, um, she's pretty great. She's she's my favorite Missoula act. She just has a great voice. She's got a good band behind her. She's awesome. Um, and then over at the Wilma Theater, they're going to be playing one of Cheech and Chong's classic movies, Up in Smoke, that starts at 11, at 7. Um, and they've got some ba fresh baked goods, and they also have beer. So that's, that's great. Dave's not here, man. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so that starts at 7 p.m. Um, and then over at Target Range School, they have Introduction to Pickleball. It starts at 7. Um, so Pickleball, it's kind of like, I watched a really cheesy video about it yesterday. And from what I got, was like a really slow tennis match with big wooden boards. So there's like, you know, there's a net, you've got two people on each side, and then the paddles are like big paddles, and they look like like slow tennis things. I didn't like it. But if that <laughs> sounds intriguing to you, uh, you can go to Target Range School tonight at 7, and all our equipment will be provided, and you can just learn how to play it. <laughs> yeah. At the Sunrise Saloon, we've got country dance lessons with instructor Kathy Clark at 7. Uh, it's only $5 per lesson. There's live bingo at the Lucky Strike Bar and Casino at 7 p.m. Uh, Martha Scanlon is going to be playing at the Top Hat Lounge at 8. I don't know what kind of music she plays, but it's music. Trivial Beer Suit will be at the Press Box at 8.30. 
Karaoke will be at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30. Uh, karaoke at the Badlander at 9. Mill Crate Wednesday at the Palace at 9. Uh, Rockin' Karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon at 9 p.m. Um, and then over at Stage 112, got a couple uh, couple bands. P. Lander's, P. Lander, uh, P. Lander Z, Rooster Sauce, and Eat Strike are going to be at Stage 112 uh, at 10 p.m. At, for $7. So that's what's going on for Wednesday in your community. Up next, we are switching gears, and we're going to ASAP. Before there was Coach Bobby Knight throwing a chair across a basketball court, because of a disagreement over a call, there was coach Ken Reeves, known to the world as actor Ken Howard on a television show of the past called The White Shadow. And let's show that film clip first of all, and we'll see why he's like Coach Knight. idea coach Reeves is going off on a bad call in this game here and uh, he was a lot like Bobby Knight but he had a good heart anyway the name of this television series is called the white shadow it was very popular in its time but it only lasted three seasons and it was highly praised by the critics the white shadow is an American drama television show starring Ken Howard it ran on CBS from 1978 to 1981. Basically, Ken Howard plays coach Ken Reeves, who is a white professional basketball player who retires from the Chicago Bulls of the NBA because of a knee injury. So upon his retirement, coach Reeves takes a job as head basketball coach at the fictional Carver High School, a mostly black and Hispanic urban high school in central South Los Angeles. So that's kind of the synopsis of the show. And this guy stuck out like a sore thumb in the inner city neighborhood, but they knew he cared about the students. And he always put together a good basketball team in the inner city here. Now this television series, it opened the door for a cop show called Hill Street Blues later on, which was the theme that I played at the beginning of this program. It also opened the door to St. Elsewhere, the medical drama with Howie Mandel and Ed Begley Jr. This show started that series and this White Shadow was so groundbreaking because it's the first television show to have a nearly black cast at that time cool. as far as a drama. And they dealt with topics which might be tamed by today's standards, but they dealt with topics like illicit drug use, child abuse, sexually transmitted diseases, gambling, prostitution, and sexual orientation. It was one of the first shows that sort of broke into the gay world in a sense as far as if there were gay characters. And it finally, it also covered physical and mental disabilities. So as I stated to conclude this, it only lasted three seasons, but it was extremely groundbreaking at the time. So your audience can look up any episodes of the white shadow and they can see it nice yeah. sure. what year did it come on it came out in 1978 but okay. it was considered a drama and yeah. it was very tame compared to the dramas today like oh yeah for you sure know, law and order no one's shocked these days <laughs> but it did um it did have the first almost black cast of its time cool for a drama that's awesome thanks asa sure that was musical notes with asa Friday night up next we've got thursday events Oh, right now! <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if we're going to going to PSA or not. Okay, so this is what's happening tomorrow, and it's a lot. There's a, just so much happening. <clears throat> okay, so over the Providence Center, we've got NAMI Missoula Weekly new Meeting at 10 a.m. It's a free weekly meeting for anyone affected by mental illness or interested in learning about NAMI. At the Montana Natural History Center, we've got a mini naturalist pre-K program at 11. Uh, this is engages the youngest ones to, uh, uh, it's an emphasis on observation, sensory skills, and imagination. 
yeah, all about animals, and they love animals. Family yoga is at the Children's Museum of Missoula at 11. And then over at Spectrum Discovery Area is Dry Ice and Wiggling Worms. Um, and then, you guys, this week is International Wildlife Film Festival, so I've got uh, a few movies to talk about. So we tomorrow at 1 at the Roxy Theater is um, a filmmaker case studies. So it's from 1 to 3. So filmmakers share stories of projects from seed to finished film. So that'll be pretty interesting. Um, and then also at 1.30, we've got our NAMI Connection Support Group at NAMI Missoula. It's a free weekly support group for adults living with mental illness. At the Butterfly House at 3 until 5, we've got a thing called Naturalist Journals. Um, and so they're going to be uh, looking at some samples of some journals that people have created about you know their own environment. And you can make one and have your own journal too. We've got a couple of wine tastings tomorrow, starting at 4 at Ten Spoon Vineyard and Winery is Double Punch Thursday. So you can enjoy some wine, receive two stamps on your glass poured punch card. I had no idea they did that, but that's amazing. And then, if you do, uh, just want to stick in town and want to, don't want to drive up there, you can go over to La Grotta Bella. They've got their downtown drop-in wine tasting that's at 5. It's uh, 12 50 and is payable to the Old Post Pub. And it's a minimum of four wines in a different theme each week. <clears throat> so, this, uh, this next event is kind of cool. It starts at 5. It's at the Clark Fork Coalition, which is located at 140 South 4th Street West. And it's called The Best Local Fishing You've Never Heard Of. Um, so they're going to be talking about of all the watersheds around Missoula, but mostly the Clark Fork. Because the Clark Fork is a really prime spot for fishing, and not a lot of people know that. And so they're going to be talking about uh, which areas of the Clark Fork are good to fish, and some experiences that other fishermen have had on the Clark Fork. Over at the Women's Club Health and Fitness Center, they've got a Missoula Young Professionals Networking and Learning class. Um, and so that starts at 5, and so they are going to be having a couple coordinators, a couple speakers, and they're going to be talking about, it's just going to be, you know, young professionals networking and learning about each other. Yeah, I'll read you guys the synopsis. So let's see. Uh, Cammie Evans is a partner and manager, and Sandy Ammons is an operations coordinator. They're presenting business keys, staying fresh on a f strong foundation. Cool. Okay, we've got a couple movies for the uh, International Wildlife Film Fest. First one is called I Am Morgan. That's at the, Rock that's at the Roxy Theater. That starts at 5. Um, it's only 5 minutes. And so it's about uh, seeing the world from an orca's point of view. That's cool. The next one is called The Dark Side of the Ocean. That's 50 minutes. It's going to be playing right after I Am Morgan. Um, and so that is about exploring the depth of the ocean and going to the deepest parts. Sounds like a Pink Floyd album. Yeah, sounds like a rave. <laughs> Uh, next couple movies is called Sun Bear. That's, it starts at 5 at the Roxy Theater. It's 11 minutes. Uh, it's talking about the life of a sun bear and it discusses the issues of poaching and habitat loss in Borneo from the bear's perspective. That's pretty cool. Next one is called On the Booming Grounds. Uh, that's right after Sun Bear. That's 54 minutes. And it looks like this one is going to be about the greater prairie chicken and the Great Plains. Over at the Zootown Arts Community Center, they've got a class called Inspire, Connect, and Create. Um, and so it's just about art, and it's a drop-in art class for individuals to come and work on their own unique projects in the community. That's nice. That's nice that they do that. Uh, over in Frenchtown, they've got a family movie night at 6. And then over at the Learning Center at Red Willow at 6, they have a class called Calming the Anxious, Anxious Mind. Um, and it's a four-week course, and it's just going to be giving you tools and skills and tips and tricks to calm your anxious, anxious thoughts, not ancient thoughts. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> well, there's not much for ancient thoughts because most people's ancient thoughts would probably be like, this i got to make bad. this basket so I can store the fish that I catch today. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. I <laughs> can't wait to make a tire later out of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. Just saying. It's every, true. Every, every, everything was so simple back then. 
It really was. Yeah. It was and if you didn't like rough. someone, you'd just like kill them with a rock. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with your beliefs. Yeah. <laughs> but Shots. don't do that today, people. Don't listen to us. Because we're, we're a, a, a country we're of modern. laws. We're modern. We're just a country of laws. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> okay, I've got a couple, few more events, few more events, couple more, couple more. Scoot over, Scott. Sorry. Get out of my camera. That's what happened if I put the camera like right there. You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> uh, This is about doing? it. Where have you been? So I was just like, uh, this is stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I hope that's the um, thumb, thumbnail photo. I hope it is too, yeah. Uh, over at the Jeanette Reagan Peace Center, Footloose Montana is a trap release. Uh, is uh, Footloose Montana, I believe, I'm not 100% sure on who or what they are, but from my understanding from this, their involvement in this event, I would think they're animal rights related. So this event is a trap release and pet safety workshop. It's at the Jeanette Reagan Peace Center tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, and so they're going to be talking about trapping and how if your dog can caught in a trap, how would you know to rescue it? So it's pretty much just, yeah, to give you some tips on how to rescue your dog if they're caught in a trap and you're out hiking with them. That's so scary. Yeah. Um, over at the Good Food Store, we've got a cooking class. It's Flavors of the World. Italy's Amalfifi Coast. Amalfifi Coast. Ah, oh, I'm sure I'm not saying that as romantic as it really is. But it's $35. <laughs> They're going to be making um, some really great Italian food. It's Amalfifi, kind of like Wi-Fi. Amalfifi? Is it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But you believe me there for a second. Ah, shut up, Scott. <laughs> and I was worth it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Over at the E3 Convergence Gallery, they've got a poetry slam. It starts at 7. You can sign up ahead by contacting them, or you can come a little early, sign up at the door. Poets must be ready with three poems to compete. Um, event is free and refreshments are provided. It starts at 7. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got a, a uh, movie from the International Wildlife Film Festival. It's called Seed, the Untold Story. It starts at 7 at the Roxy Theater. Um, and so it, it follows passionate and passionate seed keepers protecting our 12,000-year-old food legacy. Yeah. Yeah. So a biotech chemical company biotech chemical companies control the majority of our seeds. These farmers and indigenous seed keepers fight. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Some um, seeds grow. Yes. Some seeds don't. Watch my movie. <laughs> Watch my it's movie. It's poetry month. <laughs> it's, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Scott just makes poems up on the fly. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Look at me. I got no pants. <laughs> <laughs> Into the wind. It's more like haikus. Yeah. It is more like I haiku. get it from my uncle. <laughs> my uncle always spoke in poems and really? haikus. I was like, uh... What does that uh, mean? Okay. <laughs> I knew what it meant. It, it just most of the time was fart related. That's funny. <laughs> like, what uncle doesn't fart? Joke. Yeah, they all do. <laughs> it's their go-to. It's like it the only thing kids laugh at. I know, it's weird. It's like, <laughs> hey, on. you want to hear about the politics? And then they're like, ah, ah, and they drool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This kid's crazy. Okay, I have a couple more events, you guys. Ooh. Yes, a few more. So, over the University of Montana, um, School of Journalism has got the annual Dean Stone Lecture. This starts at 7. And so, it's going to be Susan Stamberg. And if you guys don't know who she is, she uh, has worked on NPR for like 30 or 40 years. And she's done every single radio show there is. She's won lots of awards. She's done all these stories. And she's like a radio legend. And she's pretty awesome. So she'll be at the University of Montana in the University Center Ballroom. She'll be presenting a thousand plus hours of talk. It's free and open to the public and I highly suggest that everyone go. Uh, this is like a radio legend that's going to be here and sharing her stories. And, She's you know, like the Frank Zappa of talk radio. Pretty much, yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, over at the Roxy Theater, there's an International Wildlife After Party from 8 to 11. I don't know what that means, but after parties are always fun. I thought the after parties are usually at um, Monk's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd oh, be great. Oh, yeah. if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Uh, okay, and then we've got some music tonight. We've got an open mic at the Eagles at 8.30. 
Country Boogie Boys are playing at the Sunrise Saloon at 8.30. We have an open mic at Broadway at the Broadway at 9. Dead Hips at the Badlander at 9. Karaoke the Dark Horse at 9. And then the Scott Pemberton Trio will be playing at the Top Hat Lounge at 10. As always, you guys can check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, um, the Independent and the Missoulian for more events in your community. Yeah, it should be good. And we have another art clip. And um, without further ado, here it is. And when we come back, we have a very special game we like to play. <laughs> back everybody and that was some more art from the Missoula Art Museum of course if you haven't been paying attention to this whole show we've been showing a bunch of different art clips <laughs> and um, one of the art clips I am there's two art clips um, basically um, ending tomorrow yeah um, the one that's happening um, tomorrow that ends tomorrow is one of them is Beth uh, Hutala, Beth Hutala, and she's um, she did a couple nice little art installations. Probably the um, the coolest one would have to be um, let's see this one. I like it how it like wraps around the corner. Nice stuff. Um, yeah, that's neat. And then of course you see um, some of these other nice little paintings and drawings. Uh, some little Ooh. nice clay sculpture hands. Cool, those are cool. Just a lot of cool things that you guys only have until tomorrow, or maybe even the end of today, yeah. to check out. Because I remember we um, um, uh, we interviewed Asia, mm -hmm. otherwise known as Aja. <laughs> you know, the stuff that you put, you dick roast beef into, and you know, it makes it like good. Aju, yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, she Yeah, had we a, interviewed uh, her, and uh, you know, we weren't able to interview her until the last day of her show, and her show had already been over. But it's just I just wish that the Gallery of Visual Arts made more of an effort to tell people about their shows. Yeah, and this is another one that's going to be ending tomorrow. It's a nice little walkthrough, and it, I really like how it reflects off the lights, and it's so dark. You can kind of navigate your way through. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. I know, I like it too. And that one is called, um, I do believe this one is called, <gasps> this is by Dev, Dave uh, Terrell. And he's, it's only going to be on until tomorrow. And th those are the two basic art stuff. And, of course, you can always check them out um, on our channel, um, Channel 189, or our video on demand at MCAT.org. Because yeah. we always show the um, the full video in its entirety. Because um, Rick gives me like a, a minute and a half short. But, of course, there's seven whole minutes devoted wow. to each art installation that's, awesome. that's happening so you can check that out it's usually on Sundays um, around 5 o'clock on 189 mm -hmm. so you guys can check that out but of course uh, you should check me out because it's time for <laughs> our favorite game that I said so creepily before that last art clip <laughs> yeah. Hallmark or Bullmark <laughs> and freeze frame <laughs> okay you guys ready to play Hallmark or Bullmark yes I can't wait I'm so excited you should be <laughs> Okay. All right, hit it, Asaf. Rose knows everything about growing, but she's about to learn that there is more to learn than flowers. As her family begins to sell her farm and home, she must find a way to help this season start a bit early. 
And with a little help from Tom, the hunky ranch hand, she'll learn it's not what you grow, it's who you grow to love. Oh my god. And it, the movie's called Tulips in Spring. <laughs> I don't know anything about tulips, but I'm assuming that tulips don't grow in spring. They do grow in spring. I think everything grows in spring, pretty much. <laughs> Except for peppers. They grow in like late summer, but I know that for a fact because I love peppers. <laughs> Anyways, uh, is this a Hallmark original movie or is this complete Bullmark? I'm going to say Hallmark. You're going to say it's Yeah. You guys? Really? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, well, you guys are right. It's yeah! a Hallmark original movie. <laughs> well, I knew that because you tulips usually come up very early. Tulips are the first flower usually to come up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. It doesn't. Oh. <laughs> it means lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, cherry tomato. It just exploded and almost came out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> Good, calm down, Scott. Better not eat right now. It's a rave. <laughs> <laughs> I finished my whole bag of vegetables while Noah's doing events. Yeah, no, we pretty much do whatever. We just, like, drink tea and just eat some food. <laughs> okay. But we have our next one. Yes, here we you go. Ready, Scott? Well, hit it, A staff. <laughs> <laughs> the heart is one of the strongest muscles, and for bodybuilder Chase, <laughs> he is about to learn that pumping iron isn't the only thing that gets his heart pumping. <laughs> Meet Jenna, a single mother who's trying to forget about the string of men in her life by opening her own yoga studio in the gym where Chase goes. As the two begin to fall for each other, they soon find that love is not just a workout. <laughs> and the movie's called Strong Heart. Is this a Hallmark original movie or is this complete Bullmark? Bullmark. You gonna say Bullmark? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to agree with that. Yeah. All right, okay, all right. All right, you guys are two for two. Congratulations. Yes! <laughs> Good job, Asap. Good job. We, did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? We just won. Just you won. Us, I lost. Us, us, us too? Yep. <laughs> I don't consider you guys winning. I consider you guys not losing. <laughs> Shut up. But you can not lose by logging on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula where you can play your very own Hallmark or Bullmark version of the game. <laughs> you can also like us on Facebook. We post everything and you can see our interviews and more also on our Twitter page. If you follow us on Twitter, we have a low Twitter account, so we have to get that up. You should follow us. <laughs> MCAT has a Twitter account. So you can like us on there at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook. And to find out more information about us, go to MCAT.org. But of course, uh, you can also um, be a part of MCAT by um, showing up to our orientation every second Wednesday of the month yep. at 5.30. And make your own program, just like the one we see here before you. Us. Yep, but you can call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542. MCAT. Or you can email us if you're too much of a coward to actually talk to us. And yeah. you can email us MCAT at MCAT.org. Um, if you're interested in being a part of MCAT and all our future endeavors, which include um, volunteering, volunteering, helping making videos. Yeah, helping help. with summer camps mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. Yep, so we have a bunch of programs on tonight so you can go check them out. Uh, not necessarily new programs or premieres, but you can always check them out. Uh, we have ASAF Cafe that happens every Thursday. Just a little plug for ASAF. <laughs> yes. What time does your show go on? It's, uh, it goes on at 5 o'clock on Friday and eight, um, Thursday and 8.30 on Friday. Perfect. Yep. Great. So you can check all that out also on Video On Demand at MCAT.org. But for Wake Up Missoula, I'll, I just want to say thanks to all the guests. Yeah, you know, I want to thanks. say thanks, Clem, thanks um, Clem Samir. Work, Samir yep. Batar, and of course Nick, Nick Roberts, Roberts from Flagship, who we've, we've been partnering with the Flagship program probably longer than Nick Roberts has been the director of Flagship. <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. That's okay. Uh, it, sounds, it sounds reasonable, because mm -hmm. we've been doing it forever. I'd say six or seven years, because mm -hmm. I just saw like a, a picture from like three years ago you know, you know the Facebook has like a throwback to pictures. Oh, I hate those, yes. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And yeah. then I saw like a three-year-old picture. It's like, wow, those guys are like one kid's already been in high school for three years. He's wow. a junior. Yeah, it's crazy. That is crazy. You know, but you know what's not crazy? Wake up, Missoula. Unless sometimes, unless so always. Unless but. all the time. <laughs> it wouldn't be as fun if we weren't crazy. Yeah, but for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramph. And also for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McFoy. Here's Asaph Adonai. 